and on the internet for the past 21 years. Let's turn it over now to uh, Kevin Hastings uh, for the play-by-play -play as uh, uh, Joyner, Williams, and Fawcett come to the plate for Wayne County in the inning. All right, folks, getting ready for some baseball action. The <laughs> rain's starting to pick up a little bit. It's been going on and off and on. Uh, we got our uh, first announcement as far as our cameras go. We do not have our behind the catcher cam tonight. It would be out in the elements, and we're afraid we might lose it, Dan, to some weather damage. So we're going to keep that one inside. Me and Dan's uh, tie up here under the tent. Uh, the camera you're watching at home right now, folks, that is where me and Dan are sitting. So we got a real good view right here on top of the plate. And uh, Andy Foster is on the disabled list tonight. Andre Bush as well. And our actual helper tonight is our former intern, Dan. He's back in action with us, Dustin Wilson, the Burns graduate. And we want to welcome him back to the family for tonight's ball game. He came down here early today when we were here. And let me say, Andy is not ill. No, no, he's, he's not fine. sick. <laughs> he's fine. He had other commitments tonight. Could not be here. Back with us, hopefully, tomorrow. He, he sprained his ACL dunking a basketball yeah. on Andre. And then Andre, was, uh, he was just ashamed to come. First pitch, call strike one. Here we get started, Dan. 8-21, first pitch. Cody Fitch on the mound tonight for Shelby Post 82. Here's the second pitch. Ground ball over to first base. Melton off his chest. He's going to need some help, and he's going to be safe over at first base. So Melton with a little trouble over at first base. Hot shot over him to him. He corralled it, but uh, not in time to get the out. little of note, uh, Dan, the high point team that was officially – uh, eliminated from the tournament because of this, this Shelby protest is actually sitting down on the first row of the bleachers right here in, but, uh, at the Shelby bullpen, so they're probably going to get some heckle, heckles tonight. Yeah, there, there is some a lot of talk going on around, unfortunately, in this situation that happens. Right. So run on first, no outs. And first pitch inside, ball one from Fitch. And folks, actually, the Ineligible player was ineligible. We, right. We talked to officials. He was ineligible. So, you know, what can you say? So, Wayne County, second batter of the game. No outs. Runner on first. He's, he's going. Throw to second, and he's going to be called safe. They tried to squeeze. They tried to sacrifice him over, but he stole the base straight up anyway, Dan. He did. And we'll check that Shelby defense. Left field tonight, Caleb Burnham. Center field is Nick Hastings. Right field, Jay Siegel. In the infield, Brock Melton. At first base, Cody Kell is at second. Chandler Young at shortstop. Jackson Mims at third. Battery on the mound. Pitching, of course, Cody Fitch out of Shelby High School. Headed to UNC Greensboro to play next year. And on to play catching Dustin Jones. Jones made a good throw down to third. I think the uh, the bunt attempt just maybe threw him off just a half second. They didn't get the out at second. Now the ground ball back to the pitcher, Fitch. Only played first, and he's going to bobble it. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Our, our cameraman is actually down there in the high in the high point fans, Dan, and he <laughs> he's probably going to have a, a time down there tonight. So runners on first and second. Now Shelby looking to be in trouble. The umpire. Talks to Cody a little bit, maybe about coming to a full full stop there on the mound so he don't balk. Runners on first and second. And now we have infield fly rule on, and the number three hitter up for Wayne County, Dan, is? And that's uh, uh, Fawcett. Fawcett drive deep right field. That looks like it may get down. No, caught. Great play in right field. In for the cutoff man. One run, runner advances to third. The man on first stays. As I was post-82, I would – Appeal second base and see if he did not leave too soon. Looked like he left a little early. Who's in right field tonight, Dan? That, that is uh, Jay, Jay Siegel in right Siegel, field. Siegel made a good play right there, folks. That ball was hit hard, and he turned his head and went after it. And let's see. I, Cody Fish is getting some instructions for the dugout. They may throw it to second. And nope, they're not going to. He's going to pitch. So they didn't see that like you thought you did, Dan. Pitch is high ball one, first and third. One ball, no strikes, one out. Wayne County. On the top of the first, 0-0 zero, zero on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Next pitch is going to be outside, ball two for Fitch. Runners first and third, no outs. Fitch on the mound. 
Inside called strike one on the corner. Folks, watch it at home. Watch it online, ktzbroadcasting.com. You can watch on your phones as well if you're leaving the house or, or leaving the fields here or want to watch it here at the fields. Two on pitch is high, so that's 3-1 now to the batter. Big lefty here for Wayne County. It's like the, the range trying to hold off down. We've got some beautiful pink skies back to our right over right field. Ground ball, second base. This could be two, and it's bobbled. And they do get the out at second, but a run will score. And the third ground ball in the inning, Dan, is the third bobble of the inning. It is, and... Post 82, a little nervous. Nerves a little tingling here in the first inning for Post 82. It looks like it. Melton had trouble finding the handle on the baseball. Cody Fitch had trouble finding the handle. And then now. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, Cody Fitch. Cody Fitch on the, on the little chopper back to him. And out of second is um, Cody Kale. Is Cody Kale. He had trouble right there. Couldn't get the double play. They did get the one out, though. So there's two outs now. And we got a 0-1 pitch, too. That's uh, Smith. Zach Smith. Pitch outside to Smith. On deck is Spurgeon Citro. Spurgeon Citro on deck. Pitch outside. Two and one. Folks, like I said, we do not have the uh, behind the plate camera tonight with the rain and the wet tonight. We didn't want to chance it, uh, ruining some equipment. So uh, we're going to give you the shot from where me and Dan are sitting to see the pitcher catcher tonight. You may have a fan or two or an umbrella wonder by at some point. So 3-1 now to the batter. Two outs. 1-0. Wayne County leads Shelby here. And a foul ball down the hill. And it looks like it's right on top of our car. <laughs> it's close. Really close. We might have went down the steps we were parked down the bottom of. It must have been. I think there's 50 steps on that stairway there. <laughs> Oh, no, we didn't walk it, folks. No, Gunner's going to second. A little flutter towards short top. It's going to be a base hit for Wayne County. Now runners at first and second, two outs. Me and Dan traveled the world today, didn't we? We certainly did. We've seen so far. We've got about six hours of driving under our belt today. Two more later on. So runners first and second, two outs. And called strike one, be no balls, one strike now to the batter. We're in the top of the first. Wayne County leads one to nothing on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Pitch is fouled off. One thing here in Lexington. Kevin, uh, they had good crowds here for this tournament. We were in Wilson last year, and there weren't many people there on any game. But here in Lexington, like a lot of uh, great fans here. Yes, it is, and one of those. It's a it's a lot smaller ballpark than 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 you could say than Wilson was last year. Once you get into those minor league ballparks, sometimes they tend to swallow up the the attendance. The pitch inside is now one to two to the batter from Fitch. Shelby looking to stay in the winner's bracket. If they do win, the winner of this game will face the Gaston Braves at 12.30, right, Dan? Is that what we're told? 12.30, yes. 12.30 will face the Gaston Braves. Loser will face Wilmington after that. Pitch in the dirt, strike three. They'll throw the first, finish up the out, and that'll do it here in the top of the first. Wayne County picked up one run on one hit. There were two Shelby arrows and two left on base. We go to the bottom of the first inning on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Wayne County won. Post 82 come to bat on Big O Country and KTCBroadcasting.com. We all hear about how good the barbecue is in Lexington, Greensboro, and in eastern North Carolina. But here in Cleveland County, we all know that the best barbecue is here. At Austin Bridges Barbecue, Kent and Linda Bridges and their family make sure the staple of their restaurant is the best barbecue. Your choice, pork, beef, or chicken, plus delicious sides, such as slaw, beans, fries, and husk puppies. The best since Alston and Mabel opened in 1955. Alston Bridges Barbecue, 620 Grover Street, right here in Shelby. 
Tickets are now on sale for this year's American Legion Baseball World Series, August 14th through 19th at Veterans Field Keter Stadium in Shelby. General admission tickets just $35 for the entire series. And on August 13th, it's the Celebration of Champions concerts featuring Acoustic Syndicate and Rodney Atkins. You're sitting in six lane back the traffic, horns are honking, I've about had it. Tickets now on sale for just $25. Gates open at 6 p.m. at Veterans Field Keter Stadium. For more information, go online to AmericanLegionWorldSeries.com. At b, b Buildings, you'll find just what you're looking for in carports, garages, and metal coverings. Great for outdoor picnic areas. They've got RV covers and side entry carports too. With great pricing and friendly customer service, you'll enjoy your shopping experience. b, &B Buildings also carries portable patios with swing options and great play sets for the kids. b, &B Buildings, 2104 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, 2261 Lincoln and Highway 150 East in Cherryville, and the new Perennial Grove location, Highway 16 in Denver. So Jackson Mills will lead off here for Shelby Post 82. He's talking down the uh, – I mean, he had a good game last game. But he, talk, talking coming down the road, we'd like to see more of that. He's had two good games here in Lexington so far. First pitch outside and low, called ball one to Jackson. Had a home run in last night's game. Had a big game in game one on Friday afternoon. Bam gets around pretty pretty good on the fastball. Drugs is down the left field line. It's going to be one ball, one strike now to Jackson Mims. Yeah, like Dan said, Mims had a hot tournament so far. Like, can't wait to see more of it. 1-1 one, one pitch. He's going to drive it in right field and see if the right fielder makes a good play on it. And he does to get the out. So Jackson flies out to right field here to start the... First inning for Shelby Post 82, and that's going to bring up Jay Siegel. Siegel wearing number three, Shelby tonight. For you folks not watching online, wearing their blues, Post 82 shirts, white white pants. Facing off against Wayne County in the yellow jerseys. Pop up Siegel into the stands for a strike one. We also talked about that coming down the road also, Dan, and Shelby have trouble bunting sometimes. They do. They, they got some tr hadn't had a good bunting uh, tournament yet either, but they'd get that ball down and get things going, get those runners around the bases. Breaking ball outside. One ball, one strike now to Siegel. Good eye, good job laying off that pitch after, after bunting. The breaking ball around the corner is tough to lay off. And Siegel's going to foul that back into the parking lot. Some Another windshield is in trouble. Not ours this time. We might have a dent down there on the car. Don't have a dent after the hundreds of miles we've driven today. Outside pitch called ball two. Two balls and two strikes now yes. to Siegel. It's those Sunday rides. You know, you used to, you like to go out and ride on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, but when I ride around on Sundays, I, I'd like a prettier girl than you and Andre and Dan and Andy. Cold strike three in the outside corner. Siegel doesn't agree, and I probably don't agree either. Pitch was almost in the batter's box, but you can't see the plate. <laughs> Folks at home, I know y'all can barely can't see it. There's dirt all over it. The umpire hasn't, has not cleaned it. No. But according to him, he... He knows what the plate is, Dan. He, he, don't, he don't need it to did, see it. It didn't look like it just then, <laughs> did it? Here's the first pitch to Bradley Evans, big bad Bradley Evans. DH, is it DH in tonight, right? I have, he I, I don't, he I, is DH okay. for the pitcher, Cody Fitch. I don't have a lineup tonight yeah. or anything, so I'm doing it all by memory. Here's the first pitch, second pitch. I mean, in the dirt, 2-0 to Bradley Evans, and he's probably looking at his chops now, taking a big cut. He, he usually takes a big cut no matter what the count is, but once he gets it in his favor, Dan, he'll he'll take a big hack out of it, see if we can get something big here. Bradley's going to take inside ball three, so 3-0 now to Evans. Nick Hastings on deck. Who's after Nick? After Nick Hastings, it will be. Mr. Caleb Burnham. All right. Burnham bat fifth. Ball four to Bradley Evans. 
So Bradley will go to first. Going to bring up Nick Hastings, who homered in yesterday's game. Yeah, in the ninth inning yesterday. Down a, a lot of runs at the time, but still a homer, still counts. Whether you win or lose. Yes. Bradley Evans over at first. Nick Hastings at the plate. No outs. Shelby down one to nothing here in the first inning. Pitch inside, ball one. And the battery for Wayne County, Dan. Who'd you tell me they were? Hayes was on the mound. All right. So Hayes looks inside. Gets the called strike. One, one. Williams behind the plate. Hayes and Williams. Bradley Evans at first. He's not going anywhere. Nick Hastings at the plate looking for a maybe drive one off that wall. There's a little base hit in the left field on the ground. Yeah, so Shelby getting started hot here in the second inning. Yeah. Well, first inning. Nick hit it opposite field. He hit the between the outstretched gloves of the third baseman and the shortstop in the left field. Good job of opposite field hitting from Nick Hastings there, the big lefty. And, and he is a whole lot taller. I mean, he looks tall on TV, folks. You ought to see him in person. He, he's really tall. And uh, Nick did a good job there going opposite field between the shortstop and third baseman. It brings up Burnham. Runners at first and second. Burnham's going to take college strike one. Two outs, two on. Shelby down one to nothing here in the top of the first. Burn them at the plate. Hayes on the mound for Wayne County. And the pitch breaking ball. Called strike two. No balls and two strikes. Two outs. Burn them. Looking to get Shelby on the board. Down one to nothing already in the first. Half the park is pulling against Shelby. With uh, the, the the high point team down the side, <laughs> a lot of people point against Shelby because they uh, protested something that wasn't right. Well, that's yeah. What, what? Protect your own. Got to do what's best for your team. Hey, okay. here's the pitch from Wayne Hayes on the outside corner, swinging a miss, strike three. That'll do it here in the bottom of the first. No runs, one hit. No errors, two left. We go now to the second inning on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. one nothing. Wayne County leads Shelby on Big O Country. They've got it all at the Bargain Station Outlet in Shelby. Planning to travel this year? Then come see the big line of luggage. Need small appliances for the kitchen? They've got that too. How about toys for the kids? They've got a big stock of toys, plus jewelry and watches too. Like we said, they've got it all at the Bargain Station Name Brand Outlet. The Bargain Station Name Brand Outlet, located at 4400 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, right next to Honda Motorcycles. Open Tuesday through Saturday. Don't forget the name, the Bargain Station Name Brand Outlet. Comfortable just got more affordable. From Bill Shuford Heating and Air Conditioning in Shelby and American Standard. Keep cool this summer with one call to Bill Shuford Heating and Air and get up to $1,100 in rebates. Plus, ask about special financing available on famous American Standard equipment. Call 704-484-0025 or drop by their office at 213 Campbell Street in Shelby. And get up to $1,100 in rebates now on American Standard. Bill Shuford Heating and Air and American Standard, where your comfort is our concern. Back here at the state tournament in Lexington, one nothing, Wayne County. If we go to the second inning on the medical art trophy scoreboard, Coors Allen just granted out the first base. Brock Milton fields it and steps on the back for the out. He'll be followed now by Smitherson, Hank Smitherson, and Logan Miller. Kevin. 
First pitch called. Strike one to the batter. Fitch <clears throat> got the first out. First pitch, uh, chopper to Brock Melton. And got the play at first. Going to check, see if he went, and he did not. There's the next pitch, ball two. Called that low, but looked pretty good. About the knees. Sorry, Dan. I that caught the outside corner for a strike. 2-2 two, two count. Swing and miss. Yep. Swing and miss, strike three. That'll be the second out of the inning. Shelby will throw it around the bases, and that'll bring up number 18. Marcus Miller. Logan Miller, I beg your pardon. Logan Miller bats from the left side. Kevin. Two outs right now in the top of the second. Here's the pitch from Fitch. Called strike one. Wayne County in the, I guess those are white pants. They almost look gray here at night, but the white pants, yellow shirts. Pitch outside. Shelby Knight in her blue jerseys, white pants, and, of course, the orange trim. How many official jerseys do they have? Do you know? Uh, it's about three this year, three or four. Pitch called for a strike. I can't see a play. I don't know how the umpires calling calling strikes. There is no play as, as far as we can see. Yeah, you cannot see it, folks. <laughs> I do, it, can you not believe believe he's not cleaning the plate? <laughs> well, as long as the catcher catches it, I guess it's going to be a strike. Here's a chopper to short. Young with a play to first. Good play. The out number three. They go down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Wayne County leads post 82 one nothing on Big O Country and KTCBroadcasting.com. Blanton Cars is slashing down payments. We offer down payments as low as $500. We are the most experienced buy-here-pay-here dealer in Cleveland County. We have cars as new as 2010 models that we will finance in-house. We don't look at your past credit. Your job is your credit here. We have payment plans to fit your budget. Stop by today and let us put you in the car you deserve. Blanton Cars has two locations to serve you in Shelby. East Dixon Boulevard, across from Super 8 Motel, and West Dixon Boulevard, next to Monarchy Mufflers. The Captain's Cap Family Seafood Restaurant is celebrating 30 years of serving the folks in our area with the finest in seafood, steaks, and chicken. For over 30 years now, the Captain's Cap has been bringing you great seafood at a reasonable price in a clean and friendly atmosphere. Dine in or carry out. Visit one of their three locations, 3140 Linwood Road in Gastonia, 670 Park Street in Belmont, and on Highway 16 in Denver. Or visit them online at thecaptainscap.com. We go to the bottom of the second inning, one nothing Wayne County on the medical arts front your scoreboard. Uh, Chandler Young just led off with a grounder to short. He's thrown out at first, 6-3, and that brings up Cody Kell, and Cody will be followed by Brock Melton. Cody, a student at Crest High School, played for Coach Steve Hodge this year out there for the Chargers. Batting in the seven hole tonight, right? Uh, in the seven hole, that's right. Brock Melton behind him in the eight spot. Jones in the in the nine. Pitch high outside. One ball, one strike. Now lightning in the distance. We'll see if the umpires see that, Dan. I just saw it. I didn't. <laughs> Foul ball into the oh. <laughs> it was about to be into the bush people, but the pole got in the way. Kevin bats from the left side. There's a, there's a hill over here on the left side, and a bunch of people sitting in the bushes hiding for you know for the shade, so they can see the and see the field too. 
Who almost hit him. Inside, so that'll be two balls and two strikes now to Kale. And the 2-2 pitch now. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two outs now. In the bottom of the second, Brock Melton now up to the plate for post-82. See if he can get something started for this outfit. Brock coming into the state tournament as a leading hitter on this post-82 team. In the eighth spot. So hard ground ball to second. Fielded cleanly over to first. Now to do it. Shelby goes down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left. We go to the third inning on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Wayne County leads Shelby 1-0 on your radio home for the American Legion Baseball World Series, Big O Country. Carolina Energies is your heating and air service experts. They service all brands and feature complete installations. 24-hour service is available with on-call technicians. And this spring and summer, keep your family comfortable with a peace of mind service plan from Carolina Energies. It will keep you cool and save you money on costly repairs. For more information, call 704-482-9561. Carolina Energies. 515 North DeKalb Street in Shelby. Hi, this is Woody Durham for Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies in Shelby. Through the years, I've seen a lot of trophies and plaques, and none appear nicer than those which come from Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies. Their guarantee is not just a guarantee, but a promise for courteous service, the absolute lowest price, quality products, on-time delivery, and most of all, your satisfaction. Awards for all occasions plus rubber stamps and engraving. That's Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies in Shelby. We go to the third inning, one nothing. Wayne County leads Shelby on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Uh, leading off, uh, uh, Garrett Joyner uh, just got a base hit, the right field for Wayne County. He's followed now by uh, Kevin Williams and Ryan Fawcett. Nasty hop over the, over the second baseman, Cody Kell, on that play, Dan. A wicked hop. It was, it was nasty, yes. A wicked hop. Runner first, no outs, and throw over to first. Nothing going. He hadn't even left the bag yet. Fish on the mound. Now Jones is going to come out and talk to Fitch. Reminder, listeners, that uh, the winner of this game will play at 12:30 tomorrow against the Gaston Braves. The loser will play Wilmington, uh, who won the only other game today, uh, just for this one, over. Uh, the home team, Davidson County, 7-5. to five. Uh, The loser of this game plays Wilmington at 4.30 this after, tomorrow afternoon. Try, try to give you folks a, a good show of the sky here in a few moments when we get a minute. Down the base, base hit down the right field line. Just inside Brock Mellon's glove. Burn will get it in. And now runners at second and third on the double. Shot right down the line. Opposite field base hit. For Wayne County now, runners at second, third, and no outs. So, Wayne County now threatening to take a bigger lead with the storm moving in in the distance in the left center field area. It looks like it's coming right out. Let's look back over right field. You see some beautiful orange, gray skies. There's another timeout from... From uh, Jones' Dan, it's almost like they're trying to 
you know, waste more time. 13's down in the in the bullpen warming up. And that, of course, is Alec Bivens. 